Welcome Plantastics to our exciting journey into the world of unconventional pollinators, flies. Get ready to discover the surprising curiosities about these curious little creatures that play an essential role in the pollination of numerous plants. Are you ready to delve into this fascinating world? Here we go. Did you know that pollinating flies belong to the order Diptera? Yes, that's right. The scientific name for pollinating flies is Diptera, which comes from the Greek D, 2, and Ptera, wings, referring to the two membranous wings that characterize this order of insects. What does the body of the pollinating fly look like? Their body is divided into three main segments, the head, thorax and abdomen. The head of the pollinating flies contains compound eyes that allow them to have a panoramic view and quickly detect movements around them. On the thorax are the wings, which are responsible for their characteristic flight. They also have three pairs of legs which they use to walk and hold onto flowers while feeding. The abdomen of pollinating flies contains internal organs, such as the digestive system and reproductive organs. They also have an ovipositor, which is used by females to deposit eggs at their breeding site. In addition to these main parts, pollinating flies have other important structures, such as antennae, which help them detect odors and chemicals in the environment. Did you know that pollinating flies have extraordinary vision? Their compound eyes give them a sight unique in the animal kingdom. Pollinating flies have almost 360-degree panoramic vision, allowing them to detect movement and changes in their environment quickly and accurately. In addition, they possess multifaceted vision thanks to the thousands of individual eyes, called amatidia, that make up their compound eyes. Each amatidia collects independent visual information, giving them a detailed perception of their environment. The vision of pollinating flies also allows them to see colors that are invisible to humans. They are able to detect ultraviolet colors, which gives them a wide range of visual information in their search for food and mates. The combination of their panoramic vision, motion detection and ability to see ultraviolet colors makes pollinator flies adept at finding flowers and orienting themselves in their environment. One study shows that flies observe in slow motion. Their ability to detect movement on a finer time scale helps them escape from predators. Did you know that pollinating flies have a surprising secret? They are not limited to decaying flowers, but also visit fresh, fragrant flowers in search of nectar and pollen. How do pollinating flies find flowers in the vast wilderness? Pollinating flies have a keen sense of smell and are attracted to the sweet, fermented aromas emanating from flowers. Are pollinating flies specialists for certain types of flowers? Unlike other pollinators, flies are not specialists and can visit a wide variety of flower species. How do pollinating flies collect pollen while feeding on nectar? Flies have sticky legs and hairs on their bodies, which allow them to collect pollen while feeding on nectar. Subscribe to the channel because we are constantly uploading videos and we don't want you to miss any of them. Let's continue. What is special about some species of pollinating flies in their diet? Some species of pollinating flies, such as fruit flies, feed on fermenting fruit, making them important pollinators of fruits such as grapes. What are the abilities of pollinating flies to visit multiple flowers? Pollinating flies can quickly visit multiple flowers, transferring large amounts of pollen from one plant to another. Do pollinating flies play an important role in the food chain? Yes, flies are also a source of food for other organisms such as birds, bats and reptiles, contributing to the balance of the ecosystem. Do pollinating flies also face threats? Yes, like other pollinators, pollinating flies face threats such as habitat loss and pesticide use. Why is it important to conserve the natural habitats of pollinating flies? 
conserving the natural habitats of pollinating flies is crucial to ensure their survival and to maintain pollination of plants. We hope you enjoyed this amazing journey into the world of pollinating flies. You now know that these small and often misunderstood creatures play a crucial role in plant reproduction. Keep exploring. Stay curious. And remember, there is always more to learn in the green mysteries of our world. Thanks for joining us Plantastics. Be sure to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting journeys into the captivating world of plants and nature. See you in the next episode.